In this video, we explore the highlights of Uruguay's capital and biggest city, Montevideo. We see buildings, monuments, and even some little green birdies. Join us. Good morning. We are pulling into Montevideo, Uruguay. New country. And it looks gorgeous. Um, we've got this ugly thing beside us, but um, the clock tower, I think, is one of the more famous buildings. Um, Steve and I happened to accidentally catch a war movie that was set here in Montevideo Harbor. So it was so cool to see what it looked like then. And I don't think it's changed all that much. Let's go explore the city just a little. So the movie I was talking about that Steve and I saw was based on a true story. It was during World War II. And these are the anchors from the ship in the movie. Uh, Uruguay stayed out of World War II, but so you could only stay in the port for 72 hours. Rather than have to leave the port, this guy shrunk his, sunk? <laughs> he didn't shrink his ship. He sunk his ship. And then our guide said he committed suicide. I don't remember that in the movie. I just remember seeing the port and thinking, oh, Montevideo. And the building I show you next featured prominently in the movie too. So the ship was sunk only eight kilometers away from this port and had the first radar equipment ever mounted in the warship. Had the first radar equipment ever mounted in the warship. Wow. We only had a short day in Montevideo and we took one of the ship's excursions to just see the highlights and the football museum. The football museum will be a separate short video. Apologies that a lot of this is from the bus and the bus windows were very dirty, but we did get out a lot more than I expected. So sit back and enjoy the highlights of this historical city. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. This is their national hero, Jose Ortega. And apparently his ashes are in this mausoleum in the bottom. When this building was first built, it was the first granite building in Uruguay and the tallest in South America. Obviously it was overtaken quickly, but it's very stylish, it's pretty. government building and then over in this corner is that brown building is a theater I'll get a bit closer that's the Solus theater you said the acoustics are some of the best in South America
this is an original gate or port to the city. This is the Parliament building. It was built with 52 types of marble and 12 types of wood from Uruguay. I think he said they have 99 representatives. It's a beautiful building. There's not enough breeze for them to fly at the moment, but there are two flags. One is blue and white stripe with the sun. That's the first national flag. That one is red, white, and blue striped. They actually have three flags. One of them is the red, white, and blue striped, and it says liberty or death. So they have three national flags. Monumenta a la Carreta. It's hard to see them, but you can hear there are parakeets. Are they parakeets or parrots? He said they're quite uh, unusual. They're not unusual here in Uruguay. Uruguay, Uruguay, sorry, my pronunciation. There we go. This is a monument for lives lost in the Navy.
What a beautiful monument. I love the water under it. And that's the River, river de la Plata behind it, Rio de la Plata. They're so green. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'm on an amazing adventure with cruises in South Africa and a world cruise that has ports in Europe, South America, Australia, New Zealand, and Asia. So click the Travels with V and Steve icon below to subscribe so you don't miss a video.